Hello, this is Lolly. Today I am here with my paper clip for January. Every month I do a challenge and a theme in the paper clip art group. And so January is always your word for the year or your goal for the year. My word for the year is rest. We'll talk about that as the video progresses. I wanted to do this pillow and normally you would think of a pillow and put the bear's face on the pillow. I didn't want her to be sleeping. I wanted her to be carrying her pillow. And I also wanted to challenge myself to figure out a way to get the paper clip into the pillow. So let's get started. What I'm using is this Snuggles Bear die set from Cottage Cuts. Let's put this over here. I'm using pink and charcoal cardstock from whatever sources I find. I'm using some white craft felt. So first thing we wanna do is get that bear cut. I'm using the Easy Cuts die cutting machine from Dress My Craft. I'm going to set this aside. And then all I need though from the gray is these two, three pieces here, the inside of the ear and the little muzzle, I don't know what you would call it. So I really don't need all of this cardstock. So let's just cut that down. I want to see where I'm putting that. And there we have it. So let's get the cute little bear assembled. I did do a little distressing just to bring out the dimension of her body here. I'm just using a little bit of walnut stain on mostly dry sponge here. I'm not even re-inking it. And I do know, see there's a little line here under her belly. I'm just trimming that off because I don't need her legs. And let's get our glue. Normally when I do a brown bear, I put pink inside the ears, but since I already have a pink bear, I'm going to put the gray inside the ears, just as cute as can be. Then I take a little marker and I kind of color in the eyes here. Now there is the dye can cut out the nose or you'll find it's faster to just color that in there. So in Pipey Clip Art Group, we have a monthly challenge and I would love for you to join and participate in that challenge. Okay, so I have the bear and what I did for the pillow. Now you could just cut out any felt pillow shape out of your craft felt like this but I just happened to have this really old uh, steel ruled die from Sizzix and it is called Doll Bedtime Accessories. There is code here, 38-0112. Now, of course, this is expired. They don't make this kind anymore, but you probably can get something like this on eBay now and then. That's where I got mine. So this is a pillow, a book, and I don't remember what this is supposed to be. And I thought, well, this will run through my Big Shot or my Sizzix Switch, but I found out it still wasn't enough pressure to cut the felt. So lo and behold, what do I still have? And I'll probably never get rid of this. I still have this. Oh my goodness, remember this old red thing? So if you pull the cutting platform out there and we put our felt right there. Put that down. We just push this through, lift that all the way, push it through, and I lower the handle all the way. Then I hold the die and the cutting plate, push it through again like that. You wanna hold, you wanna slide them together. So then when it comes through, it is nice and cut. Now I save this because I use this for crushing bottle caps. I have a metal I have a metal plate and I have a, a piece of wood that my husband made for me. And that's how I crush my bottle caps. So we need two of these. And then also out of felt, I cut, I hand cut this interior piece. I just kind of fiddled around until I made a piece that's small enough that I could glue all the way around it. And there's two of them. So this is going to be the stuffing inside the pillow that gives it that fullness right there. You're going to need some Fabri-Tac and a two inch paper clip. 
also known as jumbo clips. So I just added a little bit of Fabri-Tac right in the middle there. Well, actually, we're going to need to put more because we, we don't want this to wiggle around inside there. But we don't need to, like, cover the whole thing. If you want to make sure it's straight, that'll work. Now I'm holding the paper clip down. I'm just adding a little extra glue there, and I'm going to lay this over there. So give this video a thumbs up and come back, subscribe, and come back for more content. Now I'm just adding a little bit here and there so that just to secure it to this piece. Now we're going to need some clamps. And like magic, there they are. So what we're going to do is I'm going to glue all the way around. I'm going to add glue also to the middle here just so that it sticks. But then I'm going to glue the entire perimeter and line up. I'm even going to go on either side of that paper clip. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to go around. First I'm going to match the corners up because those are the hardest to get lined up. And Then I'm going to go around and pinch all those edges together because I want to make sure the pillow seals around my stuffing in the middle. And I realized that in all this, I just moved my paper clip a little bit and I am going to squeeze it all around and inside that paper clip right there in between because I don't have another clip to use. So in the paper clip group, I mentioned we have a monthly theme. Would love for you to come join. We do require that you've been on Facebook for a year. And we do have a semi-annual swap that you're not required to participate in. The group is not about swapping. It's about creativity. Love to inspire you. So while this is setting up and holding, I'm going to take this. And while I have my Fabri-Tac open, I want to add a little teeny bow to her head. So I'm putting it right over there on her ear. Yeah, let's put this over here and cover her up. And then I have this. I was looking for a pillow, a cloud image. I, I was thinking about clouds. And so I wanted to have this. I just made this in Silhouette Studio so that I could have the word rest in here. And I thought, you know, pillows are soft as clouds. So a cloud would be a cute image to put on there. Right there. Right in the middle. I want to make room for her arms, so I don't want to put it to the side. And I'm leaving the Fabri-Tac out because what we're going to do with the bear is I'm going to attach the upper arm to her body with my paper glue or my Barely Art. Barely Art, how cute. Now, yes, you can use this for paper, but I prefer to use it only for fabric. And then I will, so I will put two parts of glue on her arm. The first part is going to go on paper glue to glue paper to paper, and fabric glue to, to glue her arm to the pillow. Now these will leave an impression, but it won't stay that way. It is so cute. Like I said, you could just make a shape like that yourself. You don't have to have the die. So why did I choose the word rest? It's not about sleep. And I realize I have a pillow, but it, um, it's just about having rest and giving myself permission to nap when I need to, but to just take it easy and not be so hard on myself. But I just thought my little bear here needs to carry her pillow around to show that she is ready to rest whenever she needs to. So you see, oops, you know what else we need is we got to glue her belly on here, duh. I want her sticking up high enough that her arms are working. Okay, now, I think the glue is still okay. I'm putting her shoulder on there, and I'm going to clamp her shoulder on because that's going to be the part that's going to be a little harder to, to get a hold on. I think the other part of her hand will normally stay in where it needs to go. Thank you so much for watching. You know, if you look under this video, you're going to see a lot of paperclip art videos because, you know, it's one of my favorite things to do is altered paper clips. So come along for that journey and hit that subscribe button. Come back for more content. I have a whole playlist under this video. So if you want to binge on 
paperclip art, this is the place to do it. You're going to have a blast. We use the hashtag 12 paperclips. And if you do want a little bit of blush for your bear, I found this at the dollar store. I will use makeup from the dollar store for crafting, even though I wouldn't put it on my face. And just the right amount of blush there. Now I want to show you the difference. On the left, I put the um, the side of the the pink cardstock that was linen weave up, and on the right, this is the smooth side up. Just such fun. Thank you for watching, and make sure you check out all the videos that I have below in this playlist.